Uh, so Matthew, this is the hand you had uh, for a few years, I imagine, beforehand. Um, how is this different to what you've got now? Well, underneath this, it's just simply a claw, um, almost a metal and tripod. Um, and it can only really do a few mundane tasks. It's not particularly useful. Um, also, when, um, when I last used it, um, it wasn't a perfect fit. The electrodes are a bit dodgy, so it's essentially just dead weight. This new hand is much more advanced. Each finger is individually powered, whereas um, with this hand, only these two fingers are powered, and this, these two are just rubber. And so what does, that, what does that mean for you? How does that change the way you can use it? Um, it just means that I can do a hundred more things than I could with this hand. I mean, I am able to grip much better. I can grip it in different ways, for example. I can, the thumb also rotates, so I can go from something like this to, say, kind of a fist clench. I can also stall fingers, so if I wanted to stall the thumb, I could have something like that. And also, with the use of various grip patterns, um, like this here, I, with like a precision point, it makes it much easier to say pick up things than I could with a normal, well, with this one. It's very precise, isn't it? It's very delicate almost. Yes, the amount of control I can get with it is quite um, amazing, and also. It's um, clever in a sense that you can prevent the f you can um, by when if it senses that it's touch it, tu um, sorry touching something, you're able to like prevent them from moving. So for example, if I wanted to say stop this finger on the end here, I'd simply have to apply a bit of pressure and it stops. So it's never going to crush anything. No, there's no chance of that. It's um, almost designed so that even when training, there's no chance of you accidentally doing something like that. So, I mean, uh, tell me, how, how does it work? How do you, how do you power it? Um, well, there are, located in the base of the arm are two electrode sensors which pick up um, muscle movements in the lower bit of my arm. Um, these, when activated, send signals um, to a small computer which um, then, again, sends more signals on to five individual motors located not in all four fingers and the thumb. So what are you doing? Are you thinking close the fingers together, or how are you making it work? Well, when I first got the hand, I was thinking, push uh, my wrist up to activate this muscle to open all the fingers or do the equivalent on so the So trying to work it as you would work your right hand? Yes, but, uh, well, after a time, you kind of get a, a lot more natural. I mean, now I, I don't need to think about moving my left hand inside here. I just need to think about moving this hand. The middle step is um, gone. That's amazing. Um, so tell me about the, the, I mean, the F1 aspect. I mean, what, what's it been like when you sent the letter off did you have any hope that actually you'd end up with a hand like this? Well, I didn't particularly think it would go anywhere. I mean, I was just thinking, oh, I'll send a letter off. They might be nice. They might, like, maybe give me a T-shirt if they, like, f um, f feel like it. But I really didn't think it would develop onto something this big. And what was it like going up to visit and meeting Michael Schumacher and, and the rest? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, um, when I went, especially when I went up on the Thursday before um, the Grand Prix Silverstone, that was really interesting, just walking around, seeing the drivers. I, I, honestly, it was just interesting because uh, we were just sitting at a table drinking some coffee and then the person who was with us said, oh look, the seven times world champion has just walked into the room. And we were like, what, what? Just looking around in complete astonishment, really. That's amazing. Uh, tell me, I mean, it's, it looks very cool. How do your, what do your friends make of it? Um, well, I haven't seen many of my friends this summer, um, summer so far. Many of them are on holiday or hard to contact, but Obviously, I've posted many pictures on Facebook and they've had uh, quite a lot of interest going on. 